Y'all, so Queen Elizabeth II has passed and a lot of people are sad, mourning, celebrating the life and longevity of her reign of England. Throughout the world as a whole, a lot, a lot of people are sad, feeling that they lost a family member. And others are saying, don't let the door hit you with the devil split you. What's up you guys? It's your girl Sandra. I'm back. I said I was going to make this video for y'all and I'm really trying to stay to my word. I'm trying to make this video for you guys. Okay, so like I said... Queen Elizabeth has passed and there's a lot of mix. She's getting a lot of mixed Yelp reviews on her reign and what she stood for. And a lot of people are saying, you know, she represented a time of glory. She represented queendom. She represented power. And a lot of people are loving, you know, what she stood for. But let's be for real. Are we going to keep it a bug on this channel? Yes, every single time, okay? So what we're not going to do is pretend that this was not a murderous woman, okay? Queen Elizabeth, um, what do you call it? The, 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 what do you call it? The royals? Let's be clear, okay? They are colonizers. I know when we talk about um, colonizing and when we talk about, you know, owning different countries, Christopher Columbus and whatnot, we think history was a long time ago. It really wasn't, okay? If you think even three generations back, it may seem like maybe it was 150 years ago and we're thinking that was so long ago. No, it wasn't. The reality is Queen Elizabeth, the Brits, and other countries have not only stolen from different countries, but they have murdered, raped, enslaved, and continue to do so till date. Don't believe me? Look up U.S. Virgin Islands, or oh, British Virgin Islands, Hawaii, Puerto Rico. But we, we, we're not talking about the U.S. today, right? Queen Elizabeth has and her people have enslaved and murdered and stolen from people worldwide and continue to and wore her asp, wore those crowns and stolen jewels proudly. She was a thief, a liar, a scammer. She, you know, I'm a, she was a real messy bitch. You know, so let's not pretend. A lot of people want to pretend that colonizing other people was, you know, and they have, this is the thing. The media is disgusting. Let's be for real. The media does not want anything to change. Nothing will ever change. I promise you that. I guarantee you that even when I'm gone, I promise you that the reign of power that these people have, white people have, um, as far as controlling other countries, controlling their markets, controlling everything that they eat, controlling things that they drink, and controlling the livelihoods, literal, literal life and death of people in different countries, it's still going to be the same. Unless, until black people, and I always tell you, I speak for black people, Yes, I understand the need for other people who are parts of different groups to also have equality and I champion that, but I always speak from my personal black experience because that's the only experience I can truly objectively speak from. Yes, I may know of other people's hardships, but I have not experienced it to the level where I could possibly articulate it the way it should be. And I'm always going to support other groups who are doing their thing, but I will never speak for anybody because unlike other people, I don't believe anybody's voiceless. They just need the platform. They just need the opportunity to speak for themselves. A lot of us were very powerful in our own rights, no matter the group we come from. And people want to convince other people, oh, we're speaking up for the voiceless. We're not voiceless. We just don't have a platform. Like I said, I'm only speaking on behalf of black people. I know how my country is. I know the reason I had to migrate from my country and move here is because of what was done to my country and continues to be done to our countries. So now, a lot of people are like, well, it wasn't Queen Elizabeth that did those things. It was her ancestors. To which I say, who do you think was supporting Queen Elizabeth? First of all, I don't even want to call her Queen Elizabeth. Who do you think was supporting Elizabeth II's lifestyle? Hmm? Who do you think was um, feeding her? Do you think she was ashamed enough to say something? To say, hey, let's take a different course. I'm going to get to why her um, death is actually sad. Okay, do you think she ever took a stand to say, okay, let's change the course of our country. Let's change the narrative. Let's change the treatment or mistreatment of other people. No, she did not. She actively went to different countries and had people killed. This is not, we're not, I don't know why people think that um, 
this is something people are making up this is something you read in the books that happened a long time ago it didn't happen a long time ago barbados just decided you know what we want nothing to do with the monarch a lot of people are saying also not only is it not her fault oh well it's the responsibilities of the leaders of those countries to make sure they do something worthwhile and not allow other outsiders to come in okay two things can be true at the same time yes a lot of us in our countries our leaders are compliant in the mistreatment of our own people but I'm not going to sit here and say there hasn't been any body from my country or different countries that are being held down that haven't tried to do anything guess what a lot of the time when they do they call them rebels they have them killed you guys don't understand the force political powers truly are that anytime anyone tries to do anything they get eliminated they get um you know i remember let me give you a simple example after the earthquake happened in haiti Wyclef, who loves Haiti, said, you know what, I want to run for president. I love my country. Enough is enough. I want to truly do something and make change. And let's see, you know, a bunch of nasty negative articles was coming out, were coming out about him, stating that he stole from his nonprofit. He was doing this, doing that. Who do you think was doing that? Is the media trying to, anytime someone has good intentions for countries that they see as their cash cows they go out of the way to demonize the person or they want to go out of their way to literally eliminate the person to make sure that this will never happen a lot i know a lot of our, our leaders in haiti have tried to, to get out from under the regime and another misconception people have is like people in our country like these countries like Haiti or countries in Africa or Indian countries or countries that they consider to not be doing as well as other countries I believe they call them third world countries or whatever there is this misconception that people in these countries they're dumb they're stupid they don't know what they're doing they're uneducated we are very well aware of what's happening and we want change oftentimes we demand change but guess what they make it impossible for us to ever have change because they have they have army bases everywhere and let's not even talk about you know technological warfare biological war warfare there are all kinds of weapons that are used to actively keep those countries down and okay and not only that they have been doing this for centuries they are masters at this they are pros at this anytime we make an effort to get out from under their grip they are already a hundred steps ahead because they already anticipated our moves because they've done this so well so successfully that they continue to be successful in it now let's get into why her passing is sad her, i know i think i don't really try to keep up with this right but um i think the reason um What's the name? Prince Charles is not going to be crowned as king. Here is the problem. It's not that everything has now died with this lady. No. There, ha there are protocols in place to ensure the succession of this woman. To ensure that they continue their practices. To ensure that they continue holding different countries hostage. Holding different con countries enslaved, make sure they continue to profit off of them and me calling them poor or looking down on them or saying that their problem is they have too many people, they're reproducing too much. What are you trying to say? You know who you are, Prince William the body, saying all oh, the problem is. But anyway, the real sad thing is nothing changes and nothing will change. There are literally black countries in mourning for the woman that's literally keeping us enslaved it is sad i'm telling you the mentality of our people if i thought about it every day i would go insane okay so that i think that's the real side part about this it's not that anything is going to change it's not that um <laughs> nothing's gonna happen it's just you're replacing one figurehead with another what's the difference and a lot of people like to believe um, the monarch, they're not racist. There are people who believe that during the time of slavery that their great-great-grandmas weren't racist. That doesn't make it true. Okay, so 
Yeah, I can go on with that. But anyway, the real tragedy is that nothing is going to change unless something changes. Nothing is going to change. So I know a lot of people are, you know, happy and celebrate as you should. You know, the devil has called her home and she's about to do her work underground. So we might see a bit more volcanoes because, you know, she's over there really working. She's a pro at this. But <laughs> the real tragedy is that colonialism still exists. It still exists. People in Hawaii are begging people to not vacation there because the U.S. still has a grip around their neck and suffocating the people. A lot of people think Hawaii, Hawaii is just like part of the U.S. It's not. Or Puerto Rico is part of the U.S. They are not um, U.S. Virgin Islands. They are their own individual countries literally being enslaved in 2022 in modern times. And we are somehow okay with that that's the real tragedy and nothing will change in the near future i wish i could have lived to see it but i highly doubt that's going to happen but anyway you guys leave me your thoughts and comments do you agree or disagree with what i'm saying um i'm going to make a video about the duchess of sussex which is megan markle she just said that she she has a podcast and she just said that she literally recently just learned how it feels to be treated like a black woman because as we know her phenotype is what is considered to be what a white woman looks like and until she started dating her now husband prince harry until she started dating him she didn't realize what it really meant to be treated as a black woman and it was shocking for her despite the fact that she has a heavy heavily melanated dark skin black what is considered to be black mother she had no clue what the treatment was so i'm going to make a video about that like i said like comment share and subscribe to this video make sure you give me your thoughts and more importantly subscribe okay i'll talk to you later bye